Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and today I'm going to be showing you a $5 Wi-Fi deauthentication module. I've linked everything in the description, so let's get right into it. So this board in my hands is called the Node MCU ESP8266, and as you can see right here, there is a Wi-Fi chip, which we will use to make this a jammer. This board is also useful for other projects using Wi-Fi. But, just before we start, I just wanted to say that jamming Wi-Fi in public is illegal, so do this on your own Wi-Fi to prevent legal action. Since the purpose of this video is to showcase the deauthentication module, I will not be showing you how to set up the board, but special thanks to Space Hunt for posting the code for this deauthor on GitHub. So to set it up, you will need to go to this site which I have linked below. The site will have step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up the board, and the full setup tutorial will be coming soon on this channel. So now once we have flashed the board with the required software, we can start to use the board. Now we just need to find a power source for the ESP8266 and I'm going to be using a laptop. So now the board is booting up and we can open the Wi-Fi on our phone. Right here we can see that there is a network called Pooned and the password is deauthor with a capital D. So now you need to connect to the Wi-Fi network and once you have, you need to go to an internet browser and type in 192.168.4.1. This will take you to the board's interface which we will use for the deauthentication process. Now once we're in, we can see that there is a disclaimer and we just want to click accept. Now we're in the main interface. Right here, there is a button that says scan AP and you want to click on that. And as you can see, the LED on the board just turned on. When it turns off, you can click refresh and the SSIDs will pop up. You need to then click one of the networks and I'm going to select the cleverly named SSID network. Then you need to go to the attacks page and click DOS. As you can see, I have an iPad here to demonstrate, and the iPad has just been disconnected from the network. Okay guys, that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.